Yo, making a daily show is so hard and I rely on my writers so much, but they're always trying to pitch me edgy jokes and I don't know if I can trust them, which means it's time for another edition of Pushing the Envelope. Writers, let me introduce you. Up first, we got Chelsea. What up? Hey. Chelsea's my head writer, which means she's the reason I have reading homework on the weekend, so I definitely do not trust her. <laughs> uh, next, we have Vanessa. What's going on, baby girl? Hey. Don't let the smile fool you. She's 100% savage. Don't, 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 okay? Then we got Natasha. What's good? Hey, Lily. Okay, so Natasha, I don't hope you don't mind me saying this. Natasha's a complete weirdo. Like, she's so weird. She's the weirdest person I know. So I never know what I'm gonna get out of Natasha. I'm looking forward to this. Thank you for letting me into your office, Lily. She's terrifying, she's terrifying. Now this is pushing the envelope. How this works is that my writers have written a group of jokes here that I have never seen before. I'll be reading them for the first time. The setup is on the envelope. If I decide I trust my writers, I will open the envelope and reveal the punchline. If I do not trust my writers, you will never hear the joke, but the consequence will be I have to spin the wheel of consequence. Very creative name, by the way, writers. Very creative name. Thank I have not you. seen these either, but considering it's Women's History Month, hey, 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 I'm told all the jokes are female themed. Is that correct? Correct. Amazing. Hell yeah. First joke, let's go, baby. Okay, what was the original title for the movie Coyote Ugly? This seems completely fine to me. <laughs> Puss in Boots. Nice, <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> I feel empowered by that joke, if anything. Next up here, why do waiters hate Kamala Harris? Huh. Paring down a woman. <laughs> It's so, so weird, Natasha. Chelsea, should I do this one? <laughs> Tell me real talk. I mean, I wrote this, and I think, you, do you trust me? No. <laughs> but I'll tell you what. We're gonna, She's we're gonna a do powerful it. woman. She can handle it. Why do waiters hate Kamala Harris? She prefers seeing people serve 25 to life. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought this was Women's History Month. I thought we were empowering women here. She is. She's empowered to lock people up. She's Chelsea. she's the top cop. <laughs> yes, we're praising her record. <laughs> okay, all right, it's fine. Okay. Oh, who wrote this? Who? Are you? What do you call Selena Gomez's gynecologist? Who wrote this? Was it you? <laughs> I won't stay unless you open it. Anything to do with the badge is you. I already know. <laughs> I already know. Okay. Oh my God. Lily, no. No? No, I, I know how much you love her and I can't let this ruin a friendship. I just don't want you to regret. Okay. Missing, blowing right. your I chance. Do, I do, I do love her a lot. I will not make fun of Selena Gomez. I'm spinning the wheel. <laughs> Nose death. Can't be worse than dissing Selena Gomez. It can't. <laughs> Do I get to know what it is? Do I get to know what it is? Definitely not. But describe it to us, okay? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, my that goodness, that is foul. <laughs> no. Will, I dare you to smell that. Literal garbage, <laughs> vomit, carcass. <laughs> that was out on a sunny day on someone's windshield and then a bird crapped on it. That's what that is right there. That is disgusting. Osman, come here. You produce this. Get over here. It smells fine to me. You'll smell it through the mask. That's bad. That's horrific. That's Use with both of your masks on. The smell is in my veins right now. Okay. <clears throat> How did Rosie the Riveter get her job? Y'all out here making jokes about Rosie the Riveter? It's Women's History oh, okay. Month. Come on. There's no way I'm gonna smell another. There's just no, I need everyone to know. It doesn't matter what's on these cards right now, they're getting red. I like to know that right now. So how did Rosie the Riveter get her job? <laughs> we will find out right now. <laughs> she screwed her way to the top. <laughs> Look how happy you are. Look how happy you are, Vanessa. I told you, savage. Who wrote this? I wrote this, but it, it's because that's what we can do it meant. Horrific, okay. <laughs> oh, how dare you? How dare you? Why can't Beyonce give her kids piggyback rides? 
absolutely gonna read it. She's already carrying Jay Z's career. <laughs> I'm not mad at this one. I'm not mad at this one. You listen to a lot of their joint tracks, and I'm just like, oh yeah, you. All right, last one. What is the relationship status for a woman who has a tampon stuck inside her? Th okay, this is foul, but I'm totally in. She's looking for something, no strings attached. <laughs> <laughs> Was it you? It's actually not mine. It's not mine. Lily, Lily, I'm a free bleeder. I never use tampons. Okay, we're done here. Everybody, <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was another edition of Pushing the Envelope featuring my wonderful women writers. Thank you so much. You're wonderful. Happy Women's History Month to everyone celebrating. Y'all are awesome. Definitely don't trust you at all. My trust has decreased. Oh my God, thank you so much for watching the show. If you click here, I think you can subscribe to the channel. If you click over here, more clips just like this one. Click them. <laughs>